Hello fellow toy lovers. So yesterday we went to NC Underground Toy Swaps Toy Show and it was in Clayton, North Carolina. And we had a blast. Our friend Jason ran it. Let me tell you, there was a great turnout. It's free to get in and the dealers had really good stuff. So we went to the one that was at Cro-Mag Toys in, I don't even remember um, when that was, but it was in Raleigh. And um, while there was still really good stuff there, this had a lot more stuff. There's a whole high school gym full of toys. So I kind of lost my mind. Um, and I will take personal responsibility for the amount of money paid yesterday. Most of it was me. I bought the most expensive things. So husband didn't do it. I went in there like a kid in a candy store. And I'm not sorry about it either. Um, so as you can see, we have some stuff on the table. They are rather big. And I really did not feel like putting them away because they're really awesome. So the first piece that I honestly think we bought, um, I kind of saw it from a distance. Our friend James had it um, at his table and it was like behind stuff and then as I was traveling through I'm like oh what is this so I really didn't know what this was from um, so it's from Inhumanoids which I'm familiar with but apparently this is part of it too his name's Decompose and essentially what would happen is you would put an, um, an Inhumanoid in here and you would capture him with your with his chest piece and everything um, so this is a very interesting figure. I know there's been tons of reviews done on him online. He's um, kind of loosey-goosey. He's not very stable, but overall he's just good to look at. Isn't that like a woman? Kind of unstable, but really good to look at. Um, but very cool piece. Um, and the really cool thing I like about it, you know, ours is, you know, not in 100% condition, but it's really neat. It's got some creepy hair over here. Um, and I like the different aspects of this. So like he's got, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it looks like a broken rib cage. This is like nice and soft and gooey. You have the clamps on the back. See, like I said, loosey goosey. Um, you have the clamps on the back to open and close him. He's probably going to be a sitting piece because he does not stand very well. Um, but this is overall a really cool piece. Really glad we found it. Um, James, good looking out. He had, he had actually a lot of um, inhumanoids, so that was really cool. And then he has like these different like things on top of his head. It was just very interesting. Um, essentially, it would be like a light feature but it's really cool. Um, so yes, we got this one. I saw it and I told my husband, I was like, we're taking it home. I don't really care. It's really cool looking. Um, so that was number one. That was the number one purchase. And unfortunately, you know, I'm going to put them up here. Um, unfortunately, um, I didn't follow my rules on him. Normally I do my whole, you know, toy show slash convention rules, which if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, he was right off the bat purchased. Okay. Second one, this is as we were about to leave, we went in an, an aisle that we didn't, we kind of missed the first time around. And this dude was not put together by any means. He was in pieces in a box, almost under the table. And I was looking, I'm like, dang, that is like very reminiscent of Battle Bones. Um, so I was like, this would be really a really cool comparison piece to put in our collection to put with the Masters of the Universe. And then come to find out, as we were looking at it, um, trying to do a little turn around here. But as we were looking at it, we found it came with its box too. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And um, so like the original price tag was like $18.95. How dope is that? Like I would have totally bought like all of these, but apparently there are more. There's a lot of different dinosaurs in here. They come with a little dino rider guy. Um, he's missing his headpiece, but it's not that big of a deal. Apparently, a lot of the ones online are missing their headpiece. Not that worried about it. Um, so, like, we can just stick him up there, and he can hang out, and you can watch him. Yeah, see, he's just going to sit there and ride. Um, so, he has, like, interchangeable parts. This is a real playable toy. 
So you can take his pieces off and you can um, combine them with other dinosaur sets to make something unique. But this piece also transforms. So he transforms into this thing, which is um, Thunderous Battle Wagon, or he can be a Rolling Hunt Crusher Tank. So essentially, swap your stuff out, turn them into something else, his horns essentially launch, but ours don't, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, and then this is the back. And they all came with like a little Bone Age rider with their little helmet and everything. Um, but see, as you can see, you can combine pieces to make something really cool. Love that idea. I love the sails that are like wings. So um, I'm really upset because now I want more. And they're made by Kenner because Kenner's dope like that. Um, they're not not cheap guys they're not um they're very very affordable at the show um but if i want to continue with this line it's it's going to be a bit like maybe one a year i mean they're not too bad um but the fact that we got the box and everything is really beautiful and i kind of wanted to show you on the inside um what we had found um so not only was it complete with everything um this box is so wonky. There we go. So not only was it complete with box, um, it also came with the instructions. Hello. How cool is that? Um, so we got our Bone Age instructions. It's like ripped a little over there, but again, not that worried about it. So we got our instructions here on how to work everything. Very cool, right? And this is, I think it was 1988, I think it was. So definitely vintage, very cool. Um, and this is one of the things like you just want to frame. Like I want a double-sided frame and like hang it somewhere. It's beautiful. Um, and then the other thing that is kind of my favorite aspect of it. Um, maybe it's, it's 1986. Y'all know I can't read. Um, action toy guide. So this is alone is going for a lot um, online. And it's in really good condition. So essentially it's your wish list. Um, so. It would tell you like what was coming out for Ghostbusters and um, you can find out, you know, what figures you would want to get and when they're available, available in spring of 1988. Very cool. Um, so you would essentially see that. And then it has more of the Bone Age guys. This is like an entry drug to plastic crack. I'm telling you right now because I got one really cheap and now I'm about to go buy more. It's bad because like, I really like this pterodactyl, guys. That's the next one I kind of want. I like pterodactyls, even though they're kind of weird looking. Um, because A, dinosaurs are cool. B, bones are cool. And C, our son really likes dinosaurs. So it's just kind of like, why would we not get it? Um, and then in the toy guide, we have silver hawks. Very cool, right? I like that a lot. Um, and then they have starting lineup, like sports. Eh. Um, we don't do sports. Um, but there was this thing called Sky Commanders that I had no idea existed, so I got to learn something. So there are little, like, zipline people that you would essentially play with. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, I don't think it's something I would ever want to collect, but it's cool nonetheless. And then, um, last but not least, in our little toy guide here is Mask. So very dope. So, yeah, it came with all this, again, very reasonably priced. Um... We did do a full walkthrough before we bought this, so, um, so yeah, I don't, I, unapologetically, like, my husband's like, you want to get this? I was like, yeah, we want to get this. I was like, I want it to go with Battle Bone. It's like, we're kind of on the same page as far as toys nowadays. Um, we kind of know what we want for our collections, and, um, I'm just as bad, if not worse, than he is, so, um, again, sorry, not sorry. Um, so I'm going to put him over here and he's heavy too. I'm not going to lie to you. That's heavy. Um, it's definitely, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. So maybe I'll shove him back over here. All right. So next was husband signed, um, NECA because NECA, that's why, um, this was definitely on the list of one of the things we needed to get. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I absolutely love this series. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the cartoony, the black outlines, the many accessories, the packaging, it's just all done right, if you ask me. Um, all of it. So, as you can see, the front, and then you got the back. 
So he got two of these for kind of what they're going for individually. So again, like if you're looking to find toys, like toy stores are good, but go to these places where it's more like down to earth and um, it's because it's more like a toy swap. Like you can go trade and stuff. It's really low key. So just like Go off the beaten path of just going to a toy store and look at, you know, some local stuff and see what they have going on. So, all right. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a Gen X Toy Box video if we did not find some Masters of the Universe. So, we just got some random parts um, because, you know, we create stuff. This looks like a band to the waist. Um... But here we go. We got Web Store. We've got his. Why do I always get those confused? It's Spike War. Every single time I'm telling you. Um, and then we got Evil Lynn, no legs. And then, oh no, she's got legs. She's just got no waistband in it. There you go. She got legs. Um, oh my goodness. He's missing his head. That is a shame. And he's super dirty too. Um, but, you know, my husband's is broken. His bands are broken, so maybe, you know, this might be kind of helpful, but he needs a bath if I've ever seen one. So, Masters of the Universe parts, and it was a very, very good price, so that's kind of why we bought it, just for the pieces. Cool. All right, now, moving on. And see, this is, there's still more. And the funny part is, my son had an entire bag to himself. Um, it's somewhere in this house. He took it and ran with it. He got cars. He got a bunch of other stuff, some dinosaurs, uh, like cam crustaceous stuff. So um, he absconded with it, and it's I couldn't round it up for the video. It's all over the house. So there is a whole nother bag that was just his. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to show it to you now because I really don't think I can wait. This I was so excited for. Um, I was subtly hinting at my husband. I was like, oh, I can't. I've never seen a piece like this before. I really like it. For some reason, I'm really stuck on it. And, like, finally, I just said to him, I was like, look, I'm just buying this. I'm not sorry. I'm not asking anymore. I'm just going to go. I'm not dropping hints. Um, I don't know how much trouble I'm going to get in at this point because I've opened the Pandora's box. Um... So, y'all know I've been talking about street sharks for a while. A long time, to be honest with you. And I haven't been sure if I wanted to take the plunge or not. Dude, this is so cool. I can't handle how cool this is. Okay? So, this is a street shark's rubber puppet. Um, I mean, I can't get over how phenomenal this is. And that is mine. Um, so now it it <laughs> um, it begs the question. <laughs> um, I had a little too much fun there. Am I gonna get more street sharks? I've opened the box. I've been trying not to go down this lane. Like, it's like wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. see, this is like. You guys think I'm joking. I, I literally play with toys. Um, am I going to get more streak charts? Yes. Am I sorry? No. So this genuinely made me happy. This is really great. Um, price point was really good, too. Um, I don't think I need any more of the puppets, to be honest with you. Here, I'm going to put them up here a little bit. Um, I, I don't think I need any more puppets. I think I'm good. This pretty much did it for me. But, um... Street Sharks, here I come. Awesome. So cool. So cool. I can't handle it. Okay. So that was my favorite buy of the day because it's so weird and so cool. All right. Oh, wow. There's a lot in here. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, my husband um, had to buy a Roth. So this is um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja movie Roth. And, um, oh, of course, it was a GameStop exclusive. But... He had to get it. And, of course, it's from NECA. It's it's beautiful. Um, and then I w it was kind of funny because um, I had a really nice conversation with the couple that was selling this. And um, husband's a really, really avid toy collector. And um, I want to know how she did it. She was asking me for tips on how to, you know, rein a husband in as far as buying. And I was like, well, you know, he does really good. He just sticks to, you know, each line. He picks, like, one or two characters to collect. And that's kind of where we go with it. Um... And I said, but, you know, I'm just as bad. And I, 
don't stick to anything. I'm kind of all over the place. Um, but I told her, I said, we have toys all over the house. And she's like, oh, no, he gets he gets two rooms. I'm like, yeah, we have more house. Like, we have more toys than, like, house stuff, I think, at this point. Like, we could probably remove a bed and fill another room. Like, it's just a hole. And, of course, my husband likes that idea. Like, no, I, I mm we can't sleep on toys. It'd be very uncomfortable. Um, but this is a really cool piece. Really great couple. Had a really good time conversing with them. All right. And then this piece. This is just a whole thing in and of itself. So my husband, every time, every time um, he goes out and he's like, hey, I I found this. Do I ha already have it? And I'm normally home and I'm able to tell him. Um, so this whole thing of the red versus blue he has um, one downstairs, uh, green versus blue. I don't know why I said red. No, red and green. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it's been a morning, guys. Um, green and red. So um, there's a stegosaurus, and um, he is also red and green. And then we have this guy here, the triceratops, red and green. He has the green triceratops already but he has the red stegosaurus and he always gets them confused and now he needs the opposite so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a picture of those two figures and send it to his phone so that way when we're out because now this is a double um maybe it's like more like a quadruple at this point because he keeps buying them because they're reasonably priced thinking that he doesn't have it um so who knows maybe this might be a gift or something to somebody we'll see or it could be used for a giveaway who knows but really cool transformer nonetheless um but yeah he's stopped buying these the same one over and over all right let's see what else we got here oh okay so i bought these on a little whim um they were the right price point for me because again we're not i'm not kind of buying it for me i'm buying it for my friend like it's, it's, I always like buying for my friends when I see stuff I know they like. So this is a McDonald's little toy. And you would essentially um, have to get the ring on the little peg. Um, so it's really cute. Oh, so this one's harder. The Mayor McCheese, you have to get the peg, the ring on the peg, and then you have to get the two balls in the hole. That's, that's a challenge right there. So these are for our friend Smitty whenever we get to see him next. Um, which will hopefully be soon, so. Um, but yeah, really cute. I like them, right price point. I bought them, okay. So, moving on, we got more. Okay. Okay, I found this last minute. So as I was doing my walkthrough of um, the entire show, um, I remember my husband was, we made a list of which ones we were missing. So he has this anti-Eternia Ram Man. But he needed another one because, you know, you always have to have two, one to open, one to keep kind of thing. Um, so really lucky to find that one. That was just like a last minute find. Um, what else we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So uh, these. Okay. I, I've been wanting one for a really long time because they're so weird. The Micronauts. Like, I think their arms are weird and creepy. And they're like super skinny and weird. And I, I kind of oddly obsessed with them and I've been seeing them here and there um so I'm very happy that he actually got one I think he got this from the same place as we got the do the bones guy um but I'm really glad we got one and now I don't really need another one I think I'm good I just needed one like I think it's the hands that creep me out the most it's really weird oh okay so this is an inhumanoid um so essentially would go with that guy he would like suck him up and uh all that I think he's missing his helmet and everything, but other than that, this is really cool. This is the first in humanoid I think we have, to be honest with you. This is a whole thing, and I think we're good. I don't think we have to go down this thing. We've got one dude, one monster. We're good. Maybe if we come across this helmet, that'd be really cool. So, Okay, I was trying to see how this worked. His little, oh, it, it does crank. Okay, very cute. I see this. Very cute. All right. Aw, sorry, bud. He's so... He's loose. There you go. Stick. He's going to fall. I guarantee he's going to fall. Okay. And then I found these because I'm a dork. Um, so if me and husband had a toy baby, it would be Mortal Kombat Pogs and Slammers. Um, 
I love pogs. You know I absolutely love pogs. And this is just perfect. Um, look, it has like a little mini arena slam board that you can send away for. Oh, wow. So I'm not going to open these. My husband, I'm, I'm allowing him, I'll, I'm allowing him to put these in his Mortal Kombat collection. I don't need it in my pod collection. So he can have it. You see, I'm, it's not always about mine, mine, mine. I give too. So these are my gift to him to put away in his Mortal Kombat section. All right. And then these are just really dopey. Just, I mean, when you have 25 cent books, of course I'm going to go hog wild and get some books. Um, so this, because it's snakes, rattlesnake dance. My son would get a kick out of it. I remembered this book. Um, to go with the song on top of spaghetti. And believe it or not, like I sing this song more than you would think. I want to say at least once or twice a week. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. And then this is nostalgia for me. I loved Arthur growing up. I thought he was phenomenal. And this is like a whole storybook. Um, Arthur's really helpful bedtime stories. So, like, I want to take a look and see. I didn't get a chance to actually look at it yet. But, like, Little Red Riding Hood, Buster and the Beanstalk, DW and the Three Bears. Yes, please. I'm all about this. Um, my, my son will have no choice. He's getting this read to him, or I'll just read myself this book to sleep. We had fun, guys. Um, and like I said, my son has a whole nother bag, but I think that's it. We, we had a really good time. Um, if you're ever in the area, definitely check out the events they have. Um, follow them on Facebook if you could. Um, I'll put all the information in the description. Um, but overall, we had a really good time. Really, um, it was free. It was set up really nice. The dealers were really friendly, had really good conversations, and it was just overall a really good experience. So NC Underground Toy Swap did a great job, and we spent a lot of money, and is mainly my fault. All right, guys. So I will see you next video. I'm going to go play with my toys. Bye. Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal. And I think I'm going to go big at 1,000 subscribers. And we're pretty close. So please, everybody, continue to spread the word. Share on your social media pages. Get your friends and family together. Um, anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes YouTube. Um, so spread the word. I would love to get 1,000 subscribers. And then we can do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, maybe some suggestions. What would you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see as far as a giveaway? Um, do you want to do like a toy, a tour, a toy and a tour? Just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1,000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>
All right, guys, stay tuned. We got more. And of course, we came to our buddy James's booth. So he's got some cool stuff. And I don't know if you guys remember him from the last time I was at the Raleigh Toy Show, how I almost bought him. But I found something um, just as cool. Don't worry. I'll be showing it in the video later. But really nice guy. Has really cool stuff all the time. Um, we definitely have that at home. And um, I actually really like that. I'm kind of mildly impressed by it. Probably a little bit more than mildly. But it's really cute and I like it. And... Um, yeah, definitely the reactions. His reaction game is like always on point. He's got tons and tons and tons of stuff. All right, and the next booth I'm going to show you is a Gen X Toy Box fans booth. I met him today, and super nice guy. Um, really supportive of um, different YouTube channels and, you know, helping out people that, you know, really love the toy industry. Really nice guy. So shout out to Krusty Outhouse. Um, but yeah, this is his stuff. And... He was fortunate enough to get an entire set of the Masterverse. Um, really jealous um, now because I'm realizing that I need Evil in. But oh, I seen this with the Krang beanie. Um, I need that in my life. I'm not gonna lie. And then I'm gonna scoot him out the way so you can see the other stuff that comes. With. So it comes with a keychain, a magnet, an action figure, a T-shirt, and a beanie. Um, that beanie definitely has to be a part of my life shortly. I'm not gonna lie. And then we have, of course, the turtles in disguise, which is dope. Right. And then um, I really like this bar stool. We don't have a bar, nor do we need stools, but they're still really cool. And then um, these are the Masterverse things that I was telling you about. Fortunate enough to get the whole collection. Um, and now I have to go back and get an evil in because I didn't want to do it the first time, and now I do. Um, but yeah, so it was great meeting him today. So shout out to Krusty Outhouse. Thanks, guys. All right, and this is our buddy Jason's table. Um, so he is getting rid of a bunch of the pops that he's got in his collection. So um, this is one that eventually I think I'm going to have to get, which is the HR Puff and stuff. Um, and then potentially Pee Wee Herman. But yeah, I'm realizing there are more pops that I actually really, really, really want. And I need to slow my roll. Um, I chose against the Freddie Mercury Diamond Collection today. Um, and I'll show you why. I found some other really cool stuff. Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to limit my Freddie Mercury purchases because I have a lot of those pops already. And I feel bad buying so many of them. I'm running out of pop room. You guys know how it is. These pops are crazy. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. And then you got really cool Game of Thrones ones. I really like um, this one. Yeah, that, that that's pretty dope. I'm trying to sit there. You go. There you go. Very cool, right? But yeah, he has tons of cool stuff. And um, yeah, this this whole thing is is pretty nice. This whole show. The NC Underground Toy Swap. Really great show. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's kind of cool looking. I like the packaging on that. Very nice packaging. And then there's my boy. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is Negan. Love it. And then these things are kind of cute too, I saw. I'm very interested to find out more about those. They're very nice and they're very neat. I like them. I like them. And then uh, we got some loose figures down here, which is really good. And then we've got some cars. And just when I think my son is out of the cars, he surprised me. And he's asking for, like, a bunch. Like, a bunch of cars. All right, guys. Stay tuned. I got more to show you. All right. And this is the table where we've got all things Jurassic Park. So if you are thoroughly enjoying Jurassic Park these days, especially Camp Crustaceous, this would be the table for you. They've got tons of really cool stuff. My son hit this table hard. He definitely got some stuff. But, yeah, they've got tons and tons and tons. And then... Oh, look at all the Baby Yoda stuff they got going on. I love it. I'm still going to call him Baby Yoda. Like, I don't care. I'm not ashamed. Um, I know he's Grogu, but I'm calling him Baby Yoda because it's a lot cuter. Um, and then we got some stuff over here as well. My husband bought something here that he may or may not have at home, but um, I don't know. And then eventually he's going to get these again, I think, is kind of what he's going for eventually oh I love how it's I've never seen the inside of one of these because they've been in his shrine my husband's shrine but it has all the names with the figures in it look that is so organized I love it I've never opened one of these bad boys up because it's been in my husband's shrine for so long 
Um, but yeah, my, my son picked out some cool stuff in there. And then, um, you know, of course, we got more figs. And then um, I got some books. Because, you know, the teacher in me. You know how it is, especially 25 cent books. Come on. And then, like, another cool place I stopped and chatted. Um, they are selling the Great Castle Grey Skulls. And I almost bought one, but I'll show you what else I bought instead. I had to make some hard decisions today, guys, because you know I can't take all the toys home with me, even though I want to. So I had to make some hard decisions today. Um, but yeah, tons and tons and tons of cool stuff here. And we even got some Masters of... And they even got the Masters of the Universe wrestlers so they're cool um i hope you guys are excited for that new wave because i know i am can't wait to see the new stuff that comes out we got like the andre the giant and all that coming out so very very excited and then these black light these black light ones they've been kind of nice oh look i've seen a lot of on card stuff today which is kind of cool like really cool um on card so we'll see and then definitely stopped here and bought some really cool stuff. This is a really cool booth I stopped at. Got, got some stuff here. Almost bought that California Raisins lunchbox too. But again, guys, hard toy decisions today. It was not easy. And then these are very, very cute earrings made by a very, very talented artist. I really like them. I think I like the peanut butter ones the most. They're so cute. And lots of like handmade cool stuff so I like it a lot all right and then the last booth I wanted to show you guys this is another husband and wife combo we were talking for a while um, they have some really cool stuff and I wanted to kind of show it off tons of like loose figs that you can get and display around your house and then uh, definitely got some I almost bought these two I'm not, gonna lie. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you I was looking at those um, even though I'm trying not to but yeah, really cool loose figs. And then I lied. I'm going to show you one more table because they have tons and tons and tons of TMNT stuff. Um, so I will show it to you over here because turtle stuff is awesome. And we love turtles here. So look at all of the cool TMNT stuff we got. Thank God I have the prang already. You want a live stream? cute. Not yet. But that's cute. I love it. And then all of these guys that fortunately we've been able to find so far. Um, but yeah. Oh, hello. Um, hello. Taka is one of my favorites, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And look, that is not bad. With this set right here. Really cool. And then again, this haunts me. But I'm not spending eighty dollars on a beanie. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> because that's all I want it for. I just want the beanie. I really do. And then really cool Batman stuff. I really, really like these. Really cute. And then what originally drew me over is the Barbies. You know, I have my love of Barbies. I can't help myself. And then look, an NSYNC doll. Look, really cool. The Cinderella one I like a lot too. All right, guys. Overall, this is the toy show. It was super, super fun. I had a blast. We spent a lot, a lot of money. Not really. Kind of. Um, but it was my fault. But I had a lot of fun. And um, this one's, again, in Clayton. And it was cool. It was done by NC Underground Toy Swap. So if you ever get a chance, you should definitely check out their Facebook page um, and follow the events that they have. Um, they also let you know of different toy shows that are coming up. So you should definitely um, check out the Facebook page. And then I know there's a toy show coming up very soon. I think it's in Hickory, North Carolina. So, all right, guys. Enjoy your toys. Enjoy your collecting. Collect what you like. I'm out. Bye, guys. So this table has a really cool, like, feel about it. It's got tons of stuff. Um, a little bit of something for everyone. So it's definitely, like, takes some time to, like, take a look through and see what you can find. But, yeah, definitely really cool stuff. We got some art, which is dope. We got David Hasselhoff Chia Pets because that's a thing. Well, you know, I think it would um, be more of a yeah. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cute. Mortal Kombat figs. Oh, Baraka. He's my favorite. He is so cool. Oh, tons and tons of stuff. Oh, we got me Lynn. That's cool. And then I almost bought this too. You know, I don't have time to read anything. That's probably why I didn't buy it. But it's really cool anyway. Got 
Eldor. Very cool, right? Tons and tons and tons of stuff. Oh, my son would love those. He really would. These things right here. Cool. Now you got more art down there. Okay. More art. Apparently, that's who does the art. So get a chance to check them out.